I'm Nate Eaton here with Elder Gary Stevenson of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. A big day here in Pocatello. What are you doing up here, Elder Stevenson? Well, Nate, today is the first day of the Temple Open House of the Pocatello Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so it's been my privilege to be able to be here for the first day. And as is traditional, on the first day we have, we invite media and we have a number of media here from southeastern Idaho and other destinations uh, where we've been able to host you and uh, have been able to talk a little bit about temples and then be able to walk through the beautiful Pocatello temple. Not every temple has a member of the 12 that's able to participate but but this uh, was an assignment that I received from from President Nelson from the First Presidency to come and participate in this temple. I have participated in some others in the Rome Temple and in the Oakland Temple uh, rededication, but the assignment has come from President Nelson who, who has a great love for the members of the church and the, for, the, for the people of Pocatello, and so I gladly accepted it when it was received. And we just walked through, and it is beautiful and unique to this area. Uh, the artwork, even it seemed down to the carpet, there were features unique to this temple. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I think to honor the, the area that where a temple is built, we often see around the world elements of the, of the, the local landscape, the botanicals, the, even the, the architecture, and such is the case here with the Pocatello Temple. It's a, it's a beautiful building. It's very pleasing to the eye when you look at it. It's, it's uh, a beautiful, classical, restrained architecture, and many of the design cues come from historical buildings in the Pocatello area. And so, and so you're struck by that when you first see the temple. As you walk into the temple then, uh, the art glass has got elements uh, that we find here. The Idaho State Flower, the Syringa Flower, is highlighted by many of the design and art glass elements of the temple, as well as the beautiful colors that you have with the, with the bitterroot uh, flower and the Indian paintbrush. Uh, all of those uh, combine with a beautiful undertone of the sage color that is all throughout the temple. So it, it's uh, unique in that way as it honors the beauty of nature and the architecture that you find uh, in the temple district, which are, are those congregations that are around the Pocatello Temple. And we know this is a, a big deal for them, for those congregations. What about those who aren't members of the church? What, what does the temple do for them? Well, we think that it's a, it's a beautiful addition to the community. Uh, in, in, many, in many respects, the physical beauty of the temple, of course, is one of those. But the temple, it, it's a place of worship, but everything that happens there is to make people better. And so when we think about uh, the, some of the divisiveness that, that we're finding in society in so many places that are so complex and, and create contention and division, this is a place that doesn't do that. And, and we think about the, the idea that, that we're created to be joyful and happy people. And happiness and joy comes when we, when we follow the precepts that we find in the Bible, uh, teachings in the Bible to be kind to one another, to love our neighbors as ourselves, to view, to view everyone in the same way that takes away an element of division and adds a, an element of civility and unity to people. And when, when we go to, when members of the church who are prepared go to the temple to worship, the worship that, that is conducted there and the instruction that is received there causes people to be better. Now, for this unique period of time, be, before the temple is dedicated, we're inviting all of the public to be able to come and, and walk through and understand more fully what takes place there. And so, beginning on Saturday until I think the end of October, it, it's a public open house for everyone to come and see and come and be able to feel uh, 
and understand what happens there. And we will post information on that below in the story. It's free, as Elder Stevenson said, everybody is welcome. Anything you want to add? Well, I just to, just to add what a great opportunity it is to be here, to be able to be members of this great community, uh, to be able to try to add to the goodness of, of, of Pocatello and all of these uh, communities that surround Pocatello. And we'll do our very best to be good citizens and, and, to, and to do what we what is etched over the doors of the temple to invite holiness to the Lord. That means to be to be better in our con conduct in everything that we do and everything that we say uh, to love one another as the Savior has asked us to do. Thank you, Elder Gary Stevenson of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. I'm Nate Eaton reporting in Pocatello.